hump day. I'm telling you, like I'm already defeated and I need to get out of this headspace because <laughs> I don't know. It's just gonna make everything harder. But yeah, so off to work. Yay, the sun's up. Turns out commuting is only some of the problem. Go figure. Anyway, see you there. Yeah, I, uh, I tend to arrive early and uh, it's so early that nobody's here. So, I mean, literally it's an empty parking lot, but that's how it was when I was working up in Patterson too. I guess I'm just, um, Like I said, I'm just feeling defeated and I'm hoping that that feeling will go away. So we'll see how today takes us. Um, Friday will be an A day, which is great. Today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. So we'll get through this week. It'll be a thing. And then I have a three day weekend. So, and then a four day week next week. So we can do this, we can do this. space yet nothing is shared I had to move my lunch to a fridge downstairs not in the office where I am I just couldn't be in the room with them waiting for this class to start because at least I can be alone without people. Um, yeah. Oh, and my keys don't work, so hopefully that'll change. I thought, I thought this morning was bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's, it's bad. It's bad, bad. Um, mostly due to the fact of, um, the incredibly racist and xenophobic and homophobic hate, um, that exists in some of the teachers, the teachers there, the teachers. It's gross. It's really gross. So I am. Um, <laughs> it is my third day and I am struggling and I am not even doing anything yet. I mean, like I'm not even teaching or anything like that yet. Like I, <sighs> I am overwhelmed. I am. I am full of anxiety and I am I am being treated pretty badly by other teachers not not yet by the admin <laughs> by the teachers um I can't put my lunchbox in the fridge that's in the shared space and uh I can't use my spray hand sanitizer. And, um, oh, and a teacher's really scared that her house is going to go down in value because of all the Jews that are moving in to the area. I'm sorry. And I'm going to curse here because are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You're afraid of the Jews moving into the area and what that's going to do to the value of your fucking home? I... 
I'm not Jewish or anything, but that is fucked up. It's really fucked up to say that out loud to people, to think it. Sorry. These are not my people. These are hateful people. These are hateful people. I'm gonna go in because I can't I can sit here crying in my car. It's just insane. It wasn't, it's not like they're even old people. They're like, they're like maybe my age, maybe slightly old, like not that much older than me. Hateful. Sorry, all right. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna shower and decompress because this is, this is third day. Third day, day three. <sighs> All right, well, Sean, Sean promised me a pick me up for today. And now we are on our way to go get a massage. Yes. Even though I would prefer it on the weekend when I can actually relax instead of the middle of the week when I've been stressed out of my flipping mind. Spontaneous. <sighs> so, we are on our way to go get a massage. Spontaneous. And yeah, it's very dark. Apologies. Um, I'll see you there. I'm back. I am whole. And all I can say is thank God for Sean. Because I really did need that break. I know a massage sounds so luxurious and it is and I am so grateful that Sean was like spontaneous and said we're going to do this I know it's your third day and you're like you can't like you can't even function so we're going to do this because <laughs> it's that bad um because it is it is and I hate to like put this out there and uh, you know like make myself a target in some way but the reality is like this is like factual this is all true things that are happening and it is only my third day and none of it is okay and I think that people should know what is going on and if I get in trouble for that like then there's a bigger problem than me revealing what's going on. That's always the biggest mistake. And I know this is probably not the normal route people would take. I don't think anybody would do this, but you know, I made a promise that I would film every day and put my life out there every day and this is my life um through good and bad mostly bad right now i am not gonna deny that there are good things though my co-teachers are amazing the kids are absolutely incredible i I've only spent three days with these kids and I love them. I love them, which is what teachers do what they do, right? This is why we do what we do. We do it for the kids and they really are amazing. And my co-teachers are really amazing and I'm so grateful for that. I really am. It's just sometimes, it's so hard to block out the bad, you know? Like sometimes it's just so consuming and it's hard for me to pay attention and give credit to the good things that happen when the bad things 
to me are feel so heavy and so wrong. But anyway, tomorrow is Friday Eve and uh, I will see you tomorrow. So until next time. <laughs>